teaching profession in most Western countries, including Israel, is suffering from several general diseases. One is a, a structure of unionization, which is good in the sense that it protects the teacher against arbitrary decisions of the employer and preserves the freedom of the teacher to choose methods and curriculum. But at the same time, it does not encourage the good teacher. If you have a 28-year-old fantastic teacher, there is no way to pay such a person a high salary that he or she deserves because they are low on the union scale. It's impossible to fire a veteran teacher who is really making a total terrible mess, and there are such teachers. And there are several other problems which everybody is familiar with and I will not continue to count. By having a style of employer-employee relation or, or a style of employment similar to the high-tech industry, we are solving all of these problems. Yes, like in a good employer from the high-tech industry, we have to be very, very generous, not only financially, but with understanding, with passion to the employees. And that has been the case. Of course, you cannot generalize. If there would be 100 chemdas, maybe in some of them it would not be so. In our case, it definitely has been so. And people tell each other, and the fame of the place is going ahead. And there are many, many applications to teach in Chemda of people who would not dream about teaching high school otherwise. Physics graduates that always had a little bug that they like to teach. And uh, normally they wouldn't go because they would say, well, I'm 25, I'm 27, I'm going to earn peanuts. I don't want to go to a school where I'll be alone and I will have nobody to talk to. And after five years, I'll forget all the physics that I studied in the university. And, and this is a very rewarding atmosphere, which, which is really very helpful. And uh, if you talk again to the teachers, you, you, you see it. I mean, it, it doesn't take a great genius to understand that the teachers have a different existence. They also spend more hours per day in the school. Uh, they prepare, they study themselves, they help the children after hours, the children who have difficulties. And uh, it's really, truly a completely different way of teaching. So you are sending a teacher that at best graduated from the university in physics or in chemistry or in biology to a high school class where he or she are alone for many years because they don't have a, uh, another colleague in the school. They don't have a support system. They don't have advice. They don't have a website or a phone call that can really give them day-to-day -day advice or innovations or new things that are developed or new sources of, of, of uh, teaching. They don't have a colleague who tells them over coffee, hey, I tried this and this and that and it was absolutely fabulous, why don't you try it? All of this is missing. Now, you can say it's also missing for the English teacher or mathematics teacher, yes, but the English and the mathematics are not changing as fast as the science, and the interaction with the other fields is not expanding as fast as the science, and they don't require the equipment. So because of all of this, the teachers and the teaching profession in science, in all the sciences, require and deserve a special support system, which no other field should get. Not because the sciences are more important than other subjects, but because the nature of the teaching is different. And that's a very important lesson that most educational systems fail to, to understand. Chemda has been successful in this, very successful in this, but only for the limited subject of physics.